What's good guys? One know the push tonight game come back to the game some more EA Sports UFC 4 online. Shout out to my new subscribers. Appreciate y'all very much. Turn your subscribers, you already know what it is. Got flex on them real quick. And this is a nice rivalry between me and what was his name? Switch Slings on outro or some shit like that. Yeah, there we go. We fought three times. It's the rules were MMA, no <laughs> creative characters because I can't stand fighting those juiced up freaks and especially this, like the creations that all that nonsense that goes into it. I don't want to deal with it. And plus, a lot of them motherfuckers be like max out 100. So that's just bullshit. So I like to, you know, play with real fighters. And more so, my style is grapple heavy, but I am working on getting my striking up. So that's what you'll see throughout these three matches with uh, switch lanes over here. I got Khabib, he has Charles Oliveira. Both former lightweight champions in their respective rights. Which was a pretty fun match. Matches, I should say. He was pretty much he showed me a good idea on how to fight you know do the striking because you will see throughout these matches he does a lot of leaning swing and sway strikes i will say i did fairly well but against him at first but i did get dropped and knocked out in the first match which it bothered me at the time because I was like what the fuck how do I lose this dude but then again <clears throat> the effective way he uses his lean like, like that right there that pretty much threw me off because I'm still kind of rusty with that and like seeing that he's super tired and wobbly I could have just went in and like used Khabib's forte, took him down, pretty much got him out of there. But me being me, I wanted to like strike with him because still trying to get more comfortable with the strikes, and he does does quite a lot of lean or sways, as they say in this game. And you see by that KO, he leaned to the left and hit me with <laughs> the right straight which is a great opportunity he created for himself because I was just you know coming forward with straight with jabs and straight jabs and like when you sway to either left or right and depending on which direction the punch is coming from you can counter it and with this game built like depending on like how you strike it builds up momentum and you'll see like the little bar at the top going going up and down either for a red side or you or the blue side for your opponent depending on which uh, side of the corner you come from and oof, it, it, it's a lot to take in and this is the second fight with me and him he picked uh, Dustin Poirier, one of my favorite UFC fighters, and I am Rafael Faziv, and ooh wee. <laughs> now I got used to how he fights and shit like that, so it was more comfortable for me to like really be all, well they say in the pocket, which is basically like right in the striking range, pretty much. In the sense of being right up on him, because that's pretty much how I like to sh like fight, more so than not. Unless like you know, I got like fighting with somebody like Dominic Reyes, where I can like you know keep them at the edge, <clears throat> pretty much within striking range. But I can use my 
reach to like hit them without them hitting me. And as you saw right there, I'm starting to get the hang of swing in and out of punches and shit like that. So just by watching him play, it's teaching me how to like, you know, outmaneuver my opponent's strikes and shit like that. Cause it really, with UFC, it can be gut-wrenching, it could be exciting, it could also be really aggravating depending on how you like to play, uh, encounter your opponent, and also understand that your stamina bar will dramatically decrease depending on how you're striking. Like if you're just constantly just throwing shit and like let's say I throw four punches and none of them hit. You're gonna be tired as fuck. Like how he is right now, he's swaying and shit, but he's not really hitting me like that. So that'll cause him to burn out a lot faster. And since like I understand how his fight style is, especially since I fought him already, it gives me an opportunity to really figure him out even more see what kind of like how good is he really that type of shit and yes he broke me down a couple times with body strikes but I was like pretty much head hunting to a point where I can just throw like a jab move out the way hit him with like a hook and a cross and he'll be wobbly stunned just, you know, got noodle legs and just backing up to the cage or wherever we may be at the time. And that's smart on my part. Bad on his part because his stamina is going to get drained a lot more because he's doing a whole bunch of unnecessary ass movement. As you can see, I'm drilling and drilling and pretty much breaking his block. As you can see, the block button is like light, light tealish green. And it's like, as we're going toe to toe, yeah. <laughs> so you see his stamina bar pretty much shot. Cause like he's hitting me, but not really hitting me. He's hitting my block. So more you hit a person's block and not the person itself. <clears throat> that'll drain your um, stamina a lot more. And also since I knocked him down, he was trying to go for the guillotine cause Dustin Poirier's guillotine is pretty sharp. Once you get locked in there, it's hard to get out of it. But since I'm pretty good at the ground game, I understand what position I was in. And then I got the fuck up. Like, you don't want to be on the ground with Justin Poirier. Justin Poirier, especially if he's going for a guilty in that much. You might as well just, you know, maneuver your way out of that. Or you just gonna get submitted. If you don't know how to do the little ropey thing. Oof, that, that hook. Because he was constantly swing and shit it got the better of him because I saw it coming and then I was like mm, okay so you're gonna sway to the left he has a tendency to sway to the left a lot so I was just like all right I'm gonna just see what you're gonna do and put you to work yeah, if this was USC 5 his face would be all busted up and that's what I'm looking forward to because when I hit him with that jab he was stunned pretty much left open for just about anything. I'm not sure if Rafael Faz Faziv have like um, a jumping flying knee or whatever, but I did get the KO. And this last fight, he picked Justin, Justin Gagey this time. And you know, he's gonna be up to the same tricks, doing a whole bunch of sways, but the thing with Justin Gagey is he has dynamite in his hands for a lightweight and also his kicks are fucking disgusting. But since he got his legs got rocked early, I will pretty much put him on the back foot. And there he goes again. Him and his crazy sways. Like high level fighters, they know when to sway and when not to. They also know when to like give their opponent some distance and like you know they pressure you when they need to 
and back up when it's necessary. But they also keep you in a, uh, suspense on what they're gonna do next. This guy, he's decent, but the way he was fighting and like pretty much just relying on his sway a lot, I pretty much read him like a book. I thought not to read the last two fights we had. So I knew a lot more now. Oof, man, that chin is suspect right now. So he thought I was just gonna keep pushing forward and shit like that, but no. What I was doing was, oof, god damn, bro. I was baiting him to sway and I go for the counter. I'll hit him a couple times, move out the way, or you know, let him hit my block. Let him get a little hit in just so he can get comfortable. And then come back with some, some counters. And as usual, he got too comfortable with the swing and he just fell right into that right hook. GG this guy. That was a fun match. Fun little set, but I'm one of the only punch that gave me and I'm out. Can't wait to play UFC 5. The best welterweight in the My world. Goodness. And there is a new record holder for the longest winning streak in UFC. When I say who's the master, you say.